Luke sucks. This question is asking you to sketch the fluorescence of a particular compound that has what's called a donor and an acceptor in it. Now, the first part of the question is asking for us to sketch it without copper. So, the donor is going to be accepting most of the energy. And then, since they have an interaction, the donor will then give a lot of its energy over to the acceptor. So, what you'll see is the donor is absorbing most of the light and then emitting a small amount at 322 nanometers. So you'll see a small signal there. But then it gives a lot of that energy over to the acceptor, which is then emitting light at 386. So you see a much larger uh, signal at 386 nanometers. <clears throat> so that's what the emission spectra looks like without copper. Now with copper, um, this is part B of that question. Uh, it says that you observe that with copper, it quenches the signal of the acceptor. So it doesn't say anything about the signal of the donor, so we're going to leave that alone. So that's going to stay pretty much the same. But since it quenches the signal of the acceptor, a small amount of copper will make that signal a little bit lower in intensity, and it'll look like that. So logically, the next step is if you add more copper, then it's going to quench that um, signal even more. So again, you'll see pretty much the same spectrum from the beginning until you get down to that acceptor wavelength, and you'll see, a, again, a much smaller signal at 386 nanometers because of that quenching from the copper. <laughs>